Welcome back everybody, Jerry with 3DHP and I've got my other roll of filament in the mail from Fix Dry and we're ready to start printing. I've got two tricolor rolls here of filament and we'll open them up and take a look at them. I believe one is red, green, blue and the other one I think is red, yellow, blue but they're in cardboard spools. It has a gauge here which I'll show you a close-up that as you use the spool down it tells you roughly how much filament is left on the spool and uh, it's plant-based PLA, as most of them are, and it's triple color, or tri-color. Take a look at what we got here. Wow, it's really bright, really, really bright. Take the desk skin out of the middle there. Yeah, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but I'll show you a close-up. That is extremely, extremely nice. And let's see, looking at this first roll, I see green, blue, and I think red. And wow, that's some pretty colors. And the second one, Without my glasses on, it appears to be yellow, red, and blue. Yep, very nice. Let me show you some close ups here. I'll grab my cell, take some close ups, and they'll get to printing some really cool stuff. But yeah, beautiful colors. And like I say, they're cardboard spools. These will work perfect on my Bamboo Labs printer or my Cheaty Fast or pretty much anything I got. These will work perfectly fine. And as far as the bamboo goes and AMS, I don't have to put rings on them. These cardboard spools, like with some other companies I use, they work perfectly fine. So we'll probably throw up some time lapses here of some of the prints that I did. And then we'll throw some of the, some of the filament in the cheaty and we'll get going. But yeah, it looks pretty cool, so let's start printing some goodies. Wow, I've been really busy all week. Uh, one of my rolls of film got delayed. So, uh, yeah, um, busy, busy. I, as you've seen in all the time lapses, I printed out a lot of these things on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon with AMS with the one color of filament. And then I moved over to my Cheaty iFast and then my Cheaty X Plus 3. And I've had problems on all three machines on various prints. But let me show you what I got here. Here's a Kraken or an octopus. It's a, I'll put the na actual name here below on the screen. But I've seen this that other people printed in many videos. And it holds a wine bottle. And it's called a Kraken octopus. And, you know, it's very cool, very pretty. And as you can see, this appears to be kind of a green, blue, purple in color. And that was printed at 100% scale. STL, stlflix.com is where it can be found at if you want to be on their Patreon or you can simply buy the file and I forget where I bought it at but I'll throw that up here on the screen the link but that came out beautiful it's a beautiful print you take a wine bottle and set it in it's a wine bottle holder very beautiful print but when I was reading online I seen some of the people said that some of their wine bottles wouldn't fit in it so then I sized it up to 110%. Here's the same file in the second color. Now the colors I'm working with today from Fix Dry, I've got red, green, blue, and red, yellow, blue. So they're very similar in color. And they just came out beautiful. 
the blues, the greens, the reds. Beautiful print. And I'll show you close-ups on all these. But that just came out amazing. Loved it. So I printed two of them. And then moving on. And I've got this cube here that I did. And like I say, I'll link everything down below in the description where all these files came from. Got to go to my hard drive and find them. But this just came out really amazing. Really beautiful. They printed. I think that was done on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon. And then I wanted to do a Moon City. And I'm trying to think what happened with the Moon City. There's something that happened here. I don't remember if I got a clog. I think I got a clog or something happened with the filament. Something's going on with it. So then I had to reprint it. And here's another one here where I've got it reprinted. And I've never done a Moon City before. This file's been out since like 2017. Very, very beautiful. I'm seeing blues. I'm seeing greens. Um, kind of a reddish color. But yeah, came out really nice. And then I had the one fail. Then I had this vase here, I believe it's a dragon vase or something. I think it's all printables. Printed out really nice. I did not use vase mode. Has a little bit of give to it. My layers were something like zero top layers, four perimeter, uh, four bottom, and no infill, obviously. That came out really nice. Then I have a gnome here that I printed out. This is on the second roll of filament. It looks like I'm seeing kind of red and dark blue and green. I don't know. There's a lot of colors in there. How it all blends together. So I got a little gnome. Came out very nice. I left the brim on it. I haven't peeled off the brim. And then I had a problem. I printed one sword on my Cheaty Eye Fast. And with any cheating machine, you have to take the top off. And I know this, I've had the machine for a long time, but the top was on it. Because when I'm not using it, I keep the top on so dust and debris don't settle inside the printer. And I forgot to take it off. So I got about an inch tall or so in the print clog, and I'm printing in midair, and I peeled it off the bed and stopped the print. And then I went over to my X Plus 3, reloaded the file in this orientation. Show you the picture here on the screen. And then I got the sword, then I finally got the sword printed. This is from 3D Print World, I believe. But when I go to telescope, it's kind of stuck, it's not coming out. And as you can see, we got one of the sides here broke. What happened there is, talking to my wife a bit ago, and I took it and I kind of smacked it on my hand real hard like this, and that snapped off. So guess what? That means this is silk filament, which I thought it was to begin with. But yeah, very brittle. It definitely broke, but it's kind of stuck. And on the Cheaty Eye Fast, when it did screw up and it was about an inch or so tall, the part of the sword that collapsed into itself, when I picked that all off the bed, all the parts separated very easily. They weren't stuck. So on the X Plus 3, it is a little bit stuck. But I just thought I'd show off the prints. It's still a beautiful color. You know, the colors on this are really amazing. The fixed dry filament did print very nice for a silk filament. And then, uh, let's see, last night, Big John over on Twitch, he's a live streamer. He is also reviewing fixed drive film, and I recommend you go check him out on Twitch. I'll put his name right there on the screen below. He's a great streamer and a great person in the community, helping out people, doing a lot of projects. He designs a lot of things. Please check him out. He had printed out this from, what's his name? Um, Clock Spring. He, uh, Big John, I think he printed this out in TPU or something, or I'm not sure if it's flex drive, but this little skull, and so he sent me the link. I went over and I bought the file on my mini factory, and I went to print this out, and I had a problem. Well, yeah, I wanted to size it up, so I went up to like 150%. Now, when I dropped this in my slicer, I, let's see, it had a top on it, and I figured, well, I think it's supposed to be like a base, right? So I dropped, I put zero top layers, zero infill, and then when I sliced it and looked at it, I'm thinking, oh, wait a minute, no, that's wrong. So then I went ahead and put the top back on it. That way it would be fairly it would be solid. It would be closed up. And while I was printing it, I got about, I don't know, three quarters of the way done. And I didn't have Z-Hop en enabled on the printer. Therefore, when the nozzle was coming down, these little ribs, as you can see, they were moving. And it was starting to screw the print up really bad. So instead of wasting more filament, I just stopped it. So what had happened is I forgot to put like 5% infill in it to lock it and with the top on it. So all the way up until it gets to the top, it's going to be moving around. 
the nozzle's gonna bump it here and there, and it's gonna screw up the print. As far as the quality, came out beautiful. Failed print, yes, user error, my fault. That's an IO problem. But yeah, that came out. So then I went at 100%. And what happened here? Um, I think I ran out of filament. Yeah, top never got done. I wound up running out of filament. But this is at 100%. 5% infill. And it's locking all these individual ribs that are separate. Because the bottom locks it in, the infill on the top. Other than that, each one of these splines are separate. They're not touching all the way through the print. So you have to have infill in it. And then your, your bottom locks it in, your top locks it in. So that was coming out really good until I ran out of filament. That's a, it, it's a nice print. I'll probably keep that around just to look at and talk about and explain what happened with it, but it came out pretty cool. And what else? Well, we can jump over to the website, and I think they have three or four different uh, types of tricolored filament they're selling. Um, I know I've got the red, blue, green, and the red, yellow, blue, and I believe they have one or two more. I've got the fixed dry filament dryer here that I've already reviewed in a prior video that works very well to put filament in. And the prints came out amazing. It's just user error on some of these screw-ups. And uh, the X plus 3, I don't know what, what happened here, but that short, the sword should have just came off the bed, and I should have been able to telescope it, and it just works. So the tolerance is a little bit too tight. Not really sure what happened there. Um, I don't think it's from the silk filament, but I'm really not sure what happened there. But, you know, other than that, everything came out really nice. There's a lot of cool prints here. I love the color. These uh, Krakens or Octopus uh, wine bottle holders came out amazing. But let's check out their website and then we'll do some close-ups on all this and we'll wrap it up. I thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Let's jump over to the website. Okay, here we are at FixDryOfficial.com, their website. And let's see what we got here. We have different dry boxes. Go up here to Shop. And we got the first dry box here. That's what I reviewed in my last video. They have a few different styles. And then here is their filament. Their tricolor. They got blue, green, purp blue, green, and purple. Looks like their red, yellow, blue is out of stock. They got red, green, blue, and then blue, green, orange. It's currently $28.99 a spool. And this is what I'm printing with in my videos. Take a look at some of the colors here. Yeah, it's real nice. I've, I've I've reviewed dual color before, but I've never tried out tricolor, so that's real nice. They're having the three different colors. You never know what you're going to get. And as you can see on each cardboard spool, it kind of roughly lets you know how much filament is left on the spool. Now, these spools, the one that I tried in my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, kept having trouble running in it. My first couple prints went really smooth, and then I kept getting an AMS overload error. I forget exactly what it said, but the spool wasn't rolling properly, so I had to keep helping it out and hit and retry. Eventually, I got the prints done, but it wasn't rolling properly. Now, I use cardboard spools from Polymaker all the time in my X1 Carbon and AMS unit, where they work perfectly fine. I have no trouble with them, and then when they get light, I weight them down. I got some desiccant uh, doohickey I put in the center that helps to weight down the spool so when it gets light it rolls properly when it's feeding and retracting because the unit moves very fast. So not really sure why I was having trouble with these spool, the spool rolling I had in there. But I'll have a link down below in the description where you can check out their website at. Um, I believe there's a discount coupon there also. I'll put that on the screen and down below. So if you buy anything from them, you get a discount. Yep, silk PLA. Yeah, that's why the sword was brittle when I banged on it. It said silk. But it prints really nice. Really beautiful filament. Just don't print anything structural. Like when I printed my big uh, alien, Paul the Alien, that you've seen a lot of my videos and live streams, four foot tall. He's very big, tall, and heavy. Do not print any part of that out of silk filament because silk film is brittle. It has its uses. Um, you know, it's great for beautiful little objects, but if it's something that's going to have to hold a lot of weight, I would not recommend using silk filament. But the tricolor did print really nice. So please like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, check me out every Saturday. We have a live makers hangout Saturday 1 p.m. 
We're live on YouTube and Twitch. We have makers from all around the world. We all get together. We talk about this, that, and everything with the different projects we're working on. So until next time, everybody have an awesome day. And happy printing. Later.